Welcome back to the Upper Tier Podcast, the football podcast we bring you each and every week on the Dynamo Podcast Network. Head over to YouTube, smash that subscribe button and bell notification. We're also available on Anchor, Spotify, Podbean, if you prefer the audio versions. And joining me today for our Champions League and Europa League draw match re- uh, draw reaction is Craig. Craig, how you doing, man? Hi, right, Niall. How are you? How are you, Graham? Good. Not a bother. I look like a very happy Liverpool fan right. there looking at that draw. Very, mm. very happy. Good. Graham, how are you doing? <laughs> In morning, I would imagine. <laughs> I'm uh, yeah, <laughs> at the blackout, so you can Garrett Bale on his way back to the Bernabeu. Enough is enough. Um, oh, God. Yeah, well, I suppose let's, they let's wouldn't get take him back. I don't think <laughs> <laughs> lucky to be getting this game for Wales, probably. means <laughs> grab if you can. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so let's let's start, lads, with the Champions League. He's draw. waiting for the internationals to start, <laughs> so he can go play a few games of golf. Um, let's start with the quarter final draw oh, for the Champions it. League. Uh, Man City versus Dortmund. There's a there's a plum toy, lads. Uh, Craig, what do you think of that? As a obviously yeah. a Liverpool fan, you look at it with a neutral like aspect. I think that's a cracking draw. I think over the two legs, though, I think City will have enough for Dortmund. I can see Dortmund scoring. and I can see it being a pretty good game with a lot of goals, but Dortmund's Achilles heel, I think, is that back line, which is Asian as well, like with the likes of Hummels and things like that. If they can nullify <laughs> Haaland or nullify Sancho, the rest kind of takes care of itself, I think, with Dortmund, because that's their outlet, that's their avenue. And I think City, you know, maybe they feel like now is the time that they can kind of deliver. They have a great squad. They can throw in whoever they want and they don't have any effect on them whatsoever. I think City over the two legs though, will do enough and get the job done in both legs. Yeah, I think um, this this is one of those toys where we're really going to see mm-hmm. you know, what Erling Haaland is all about. You know what I mean? Is this really the man that's worth the £120 million that people are telling him and stuff like that? You know? um, the only thing about City is obviously they got a very tough draw then in the semis. They're going to, if they do get through, they'll meet the winner of Bayern or PSG. And that's that's going to be a tough road to Istanbul for those boys. That's a test one. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Uh, Graham, Porto versus Chelsea. Yeah. Um, what was your thinking on that one? Uh, well, I, I I think it was a uh, it was uh, happy happy enough draw for Chelsea. I, I um you know a Porto event just um <clears throat> it could be it, it was it was kind of the uh the better, the better draw that they have got with all the other teams around them, but uh, yeah, but Porto will give them a go. But um, I, I, I'm pretty sure Chelsea probably have two enough for them. How will have enough? They'll probably get a dumb leg and try and nick a goal in the in the away leg, and that'll be job done for them. Yeah, I think um, I think Chelsea fans will be happy enough with the draw. But again, I wouldn't be underestimating Porto in any way. They've yeah, been very impressive this year, you know. Um, then we get on to, I know we're Liverpool fans, but obviously the, the toy of the round has to be Bayern versus PSG. Yeah, that's... Oh. I, I yeah. Mean, I'm sure I'm sure you wave are kicking themselves there. Not happy <laughs> with that at all. They probably weren't looking to see that as the final. Isn't it? That should have been the final. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah. yeah. I, I think this is... Um, you kind of have to go with Bayern, don't you? And the strength of Bayern on this, you know what I mean? I mean... I suppose it's not unusual if you look at history, Craig, that uh, like PSG, you know, they lost out last year. So maybe this is their year to come through, similar to what ourselves did. between Like with PSG, you always kind of say, is this the time? Similar to City, is this their moment where they're actually going to go one better? Now, Bayern Munich, like what weaknesses do they have really to exploit? You could probably say maybe Boateng is aging a bit of the back line if they can get Neymar back and concentrate with Mbappe. They have that pace. But can you see Bayern being kept out at the other end? Not really either. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know, do you know what I was thinking? Yeah. When, I say, when I say in the draw, I was thinking, like, imagine if you had a, a final again, Liverpool versus PSG. It'd be Klopp versus Pochettino again. Like, it'd be unbelievable. Uh, like, it'd be great. I mean? that... Mad. Um. <laughs> So yeah, moving on to the last, the last toy. Then obviously Real Madrid versus <clears throat> Liverpool. I mean, I don't know about you, Craig, but I'm, I'm reasonably happy with that. I would never underestimate Real Madrid, but it's fair to say that they haven't been firing on all cylinders. But um, I'm happy enough with that draw, and I'm also happy enough yeah. that we have the away leg first. 
so uh, what was your thinking about that one? I yeah. might sound crazy here, but on, under, under the circumstances that are happening, I wanted Real Madrid over Porto. Porto, you know, we can all look at them and say, oh, I'll, I'll take Porto, but Porto took Juventus out, albeit it's not the strongest Juventus side that it's ever been. But they have nothing to lose and they know that. You know what I mean? If they go out, they go out. If they show up, it's a bonus for them. Real Madrid are in serious trouble. I feel like we owe them one as well. So that adds a bit of flavour to it. And it's, I've, been, I've been looking at the draw from afar. Now, uh, Chelsea semi-final again before Istanbul final. Imagine if we could get Virgil and Henderson back towards the end. And I don't know. I have a weird feeling. Like Obviously, the job is still Real Madrid at the end of the day. You know what I mean? You still have to beat them. Well, so I was hoping someone would give Lewis Garcia a ring. It'd be all yeah. good. <laughs> With a bed sheet over him. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no disrespect to Real Madrid. It's still Real Madrid and we still have to get the job done over two legs. But the condition they're in, they did not want us. And I can tell, nobody really probably wanted us. In Europe, we're a different animal. And yeah, we look at the, if we get through Real Madrid and if, if we have Chelsea... I still, I still feel that we can go all the way. I, I, I really do. I have a, a weird feeling, like a gut feeling that, you know, even in the final in a one-off game against the other European superhouses, I'll never write us off. And, like, if it's a one-off game, you know, that's probably perfect for us against a, a super joint. Yeah, it was interesting. Um, I was listening to Talk Sport the other night and they were doing a quick sort of rundown on the draw. And uh, one of the lads who was on turned around and said that... Uh, everyone would be dying to get Liverpool in the draw because Liverpool are the, weak, are the weakest team left in the draw. And I was thinking, mate, you don't know your European pedigree at all. Um, when it comes to Champions Leagues, we're a different animal, you know what I mean? I mean, we just absolutely annihilated the team that put United out of the Champions League, you know what I mean? Um, I think we have to throw all our eggs in one basket here, Niall, and go for this. This is our opportunity. This is our... Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know, I think this is our... This is our avenue now where we can really do something. I do believe we can. I honestly I do believe it. I don't know. I think if we come back off the international break and we haven't been hit with a COVID outbreak or any injuries or anything like that, I still think the team is capable of putting two, three, four games together, hopefully in a run. And I, I think any team at the moment in around that sort of, say, seventh all the way up to, say, third probably, um, you know, they still have a chance if they can put three or four games together they can shoot up that table yeah. and actually drop into that top four spot. So I, I wouldn't be quite writing off the league yet. Um, I think that would be a very dangerous thing to do, especially when you look at the pedigree of what's left in the competition. But yeah, I think our avenue to the final, I think is, um, and Chelsea's, I suppose, um, they will feel that their one and our one is greatly, uh, greatly eased based on that draw. Um, 100%. Man, Man City, I think, yeah. will be the ones coming out who won't be as happy with the draw. Um, because it's going to be difficult enough to get over Dortmund, but then it's even going to be, you know, then you're facing into a Bayern or a PSG. And I think have, um, and with then, the squad they have, though, they have yeah. no, they have nowhere to hide, though, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's true. The way. Yeah, well, that's true. And I suppose you're looking over the next couple of weeks. By the time the quarters and the semis roll around, I mean, they'll probably have the league wrapped up. Um, and and you know, in, in terms of you know the Carabao Cup, I mean, Graham. You're not going to be fairly confident going into that. I think City, I mean, if that's the Spurs that would show up that was last night, City would absolutely annihilate them at Wembley. You know? But, um, yeah, brilliant. But they, uh, Go ahead. But they, I think I think the uh, Lick Cup final, the, for the draw, uh, the matches, you know, the matches go on Tuesday and Wednesday. I think the, the Cup final is the, the Sunday beforehand. So, but they put out a second side and probably still beat us. So, yeah, it's not, they can it's, do that. Yeah, the thing about you know? it is, though, it's not when it gets to a final, it's not something that Pep tends to do. He'll feel this full stream, you know what I mean? Because he, no, he, you know, listen to the final, he, yeah, want to win everything, you know, yeah. But listen to Soldier the other day saying trophies are for egos. Well, if trophies are for egos, then you know, Pep must have the biggest ego in the world. <laughs> You know, um, Pep puts a full strength in nearly yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, I mean, FA Cup, Carabao Cup. <laughs> look, look, look at the teams he puts out against the likes of Lutons and Wiggins and Grimsby's yeah. now. Like he, like he doesn't rest anyone. You know what I mean? So, no. um, but it'd be interesting. To see. So I suppose yeah. let's move let's move on to the the Europa League draw, um, which which threw up some very interesting um, toys 
Obviously, Granada, who are absolutely outstanding this year in Europe, uh, they're, they're the real sort of the wild card, yeah. if you like, but they've been doing fantastic against United. Um, United would fancy themselves over two legs to, to go through against Granada. Um, likewise, Arsenal versus Prague. Um, I think for Arsenal, this is kind of, um, you know, the, the Europa League really suits them in terms of their... Uh, you know, their style of play and their ambition and stuff. And as you said, Graham, earlier, this this could be really their pathway back in, if you like. You know what I mean? So they'll yeah. be focusing heavily on yeah. it. Um, but Prague, again, won't be an easy um, opponent. Um, they never are. Not based, on the, not based on the performance of Arsenal last night, anyway. Yeah. They weren't great last night. I suppose the plum toy of the round has to be Ajax versus Roma, where one of the heavyweights left in the competition. Definitely. Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know of a sneaky feeling about Roma this year. I know, Craig, you've been talking to me about Villarreal. Villarreal is uh, my kind of dark horse. Fully understand with the Roma. Like, Roma have a, a Champions League pedigree soil in, in themselves. And a quick quick note on Granada. It's their first time ever in European competition. They've took Napoli out. They've gotten out of group. You know, fair play to them. Absolutely yeah. amazing. Yeah, I suppose the, the unfortunate thing for you, Graeme, is that, uh, you know, if you had it gone through last night, you could be Villarreal. You might be facing Arsenal in the semis. That would have been um, an interesting um, conundrum. Ah, uh, it's, um, it's don't be thinking on what if now, you know. Yeah, but still, it would have been it would have been nice to still have Spurs still in there, and you had another North London derby, but a North London derby in the Europa League. You know what I mean? Where all the all the all the things are on the line, you know. Um, yeah. What 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 are we thinking here at the moment, yeah. lads? Are we thinking kind of? Are we thinking United Villarreal final? That's my thinking. Um, Villarreal have a very good set. That's the strongest now. at the minute, yeah. Emery, they have all La Liga based players who we know is inside out from other clubs and their own club. They have like Jared Moreno, Paco Alasir, Danny Parejo from Valencia, Raúl Albiol at the back. So he knows what he's getting, and he they all speak basically the language. They all speak the league, and I think that works to his advantage. As in, you know, he knows what he's doing. League and Europe, you know, they know it's the players inside out. I wouldn't fancy drawing Villarreal if I was another team. I think United, Ajax and Roma, I think United, will, I think United will beat Granada and I think United will have enough for either of them over two legs. But I think United and Villarreal final could be a great toy in a one off game if it is that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I suppose I suppose Ajax and Roma would be a, a tough task in the semi final, especially with Ali trying to get that semi final. Who do off his back really? You know what I mean? That that could cause a problem. I suppose, Graham. What about if we we had a tantalising Man United Arsenal final? Yeah, uh, that'd be something. Yeah, else, it's a possibility. Isn't it? Yeah, where, where, yeah. Where would where would, where would, where, would that, where would that leave you, Neil, in your colours? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Ah <laughs> uh, well, they have to. I wouldn't be. I don't be putting my colours anyway. I'd be. I'd be a neutral. I'd be. They're in the. They're in the whatever semi final and final for a reason. And we're not because we're. Our, you know, I'm not gonna get into it. But uh, they are there, and they're there to win it. And I'll go with that. Yeah, I suppose it's um, it's it, it, it certainly be interesting. I I would assume United. I'm kind of going to go with United versus Roma in the semis, and I'm going to go with Villarreal versus Arsenal in the other one. And then it's a case of like it's you know who shows up, who wants it more. But it'd be, it'd be yeah, it'd be gas to see if Arsenal went on and won it like, and that was their pathway back into the Champions League. You know what I mean? It's it's um well, it's, but that's it. Like you know, you know, it are look like they're going to be in the Champions League anyway by finishing whatever second or third. So they have Champions League. Down, you know, qualification down. But um, if Arsenal do win it, it's their perfect pathway back into it, you know, because yeah, looks like they might finish in the Europa League place. So I always so, find it um, it. You know, early on in the Europa League season, people say, Oh, here, hey, being in this. And then towards the end of it, it's like lovely yeah. years away into Europe. <laughs> oh, we gotta win it. We, yeah. <laughs> well, you see, if you're if you're anywhere be, if you're anywhere between tenth and eighth or seventh, <laughs> you're laughing. You know what I mean? The Europa League yeah. is your new Champions League final. You know yeah. what I mean? It's without a shadow. Of a <laughs> Lads, listen. Yeah. As always, brilliant coming on and sharing your views on the draw. Um, commiserations, Graham. As always, um, you know, pity you weren't still in there because it would have been a great draw. Please, but however, oh. until next time. 
head over to YouTube, well, smash then. that subscribe and bell notification button. We are on the Dynamo Podcast Network. We are bringing you content really on a daily basis. So always um, support the Irish Podcast and especially the Dynamo Podcast Network. Again, we're on uh, Anchor, Spotify and Podbean if you prefer the audio versions. And we will chat to you again real soon.